One feature about this plugin that you can't get or at least get easily is if you had a transient shaper, saturator, sub oscillator, EQ and the clipper, you can't do dry and wet with all those functions. In Ableton, you can do a dry wet rack, but it's not always accurate to get the dry wet with that. So with this, we can dial in dry wet. So this is off. We can just dial in a little bit of it or a lot of it or none of it. And then you can play with the controls. And another thing about dry wet, it's called parallel processing. What you can do is go extreme with the features and only dial in a little bit of it. So that's another way you could use the plugin. And another thing you can do if you want is add a second one. You can add two knock plugins and you can dial it in even more. Say I wanna add more soft clipping to it. Fire. But just a little bit of that. So you're getting into sound design right now. You're getting into drum design. And don't be afraid, just try sh just try sh